on the, uh, the capstone, correct? Oh, we're working, yeah, we're working on the capstone, correct. Yeah, so some people had like all this underlined in through here, like their words. So what I wanted is to have the um, right, right justified, italicized 10 points, and then a border underneath this, not all these guys underlined. So this is actually a border right here that if you go into home and click on this border right here, <coughs> borders and shading, then we can see this is custom, two lines, and then underline applied to the paragraph. Okay. So I liked that a couple people didn't necessarily have that. So if you guys can just check on that, that would be good. All right, so now let's go to the footer section. So the footer kind of gets interesting here. The footer gets interesting. So we want to come down, and then if we just double click down here in the, in the footer, then uh, if we go into, and when we did that, what happened? Well, we got our contextual tab, and then under design, what we're going to do is we're going to go into footer, and then do the um, built-in sideline. So sideline right here. Okay, and we'll notice, I'm gonna freeze you guys up for a sec, sorry. So if we notice, this autom automatically pulled up a what? A one. a one right here, okay? So typically, the gobbledygook before, before we get to our main pages, we'll um, use a different sort of pagination. So on this one, what I'll typically do in my documents is I'll make these small Roman numerals, like I, Two eyes, so it'll look like you know I dot, I dot, or I dot dot, I dot dot. So Roman numerals, lowercase. So if we look at this right now, we see that this is in what numeric. numeric, Arabic numeric. So how can we change that? Is there anything we can do to that to change that, Mark? Um, I'm gonna put in. <laughs> so if you just go in and double click down at the bottom, Mark, on the page, it should pull it up. Oh, all the way, yeah, all the way at the bottom. Yeah, all the way at the bottom, almost towards the edge. If you double click on that, it should pop it up. Yeah, I don't, I don't have All right, so on this one, then how can we change? So if this is numeric, anybody know how we change that into Roman numerals? Is that an option for us? Page number. Okay, so we're going to go highlight this guy. I don't know if you have to highlight it. Okay, if we go in here and we go to page number, we can do what? Format page numbers. Okay, now what we can what can we do? Number format. So up here we have alpha or we have Arabic, and then down here we have the small Roman numerals. Then we could say go start this at I, and we click on OK, and then. And because our first page was different, we don't want to have anything on our cover page. But if we go on page two, now we have a Roman numeral. Okay. What happens if we go down to our next page? Okay. So now this has set. This has a zero. Okay. So what can we do here? Okay. So we do this, and this is wonky. Sometimes it'll start it at one. Sometimes it'll continue. So what? It, what about if it continues and you see a Roman numeral two? What does that mean? You have to go up and click one of the other. So see this link to previous? So you want to turn this link to previous off. Okay, so you turn link to previous off. Okay, because if we change this, what we're going to do is we're going to change the one above it. Okay, so that, that'll get, you guys will kind of go crazy with that. I'm like, every time we change it, it changes the other one. How do I get out of this? <laughs> but that happens like, oh yeah, we, we talked about link to previous. You don't want to do that. Okay, so we'll click on this guy here, 
And now we'll do page number here. Uh, format page numbers, and it looks like we're in one, one, two, three, but we want to start at what? I think Renee told us we want to start at one. Now we do that. And now if we look up, in theory, that should be Roman numeral one. And if we look down, this should be one, two, three, and so forth. Okay? Oh. All right, so I showed you how to do that. But we're going to do the Roman numeral. We're going to do the Roman numeral one on that page, and the, this other step I just did some of your homework. Okay. So that's fine. That's good. It's all good. All right. So let's go up and have you guys do the header and footer, and then we're going to go up to this page right here, page two, onto the table of contents. Oh, you're still be there in the first page section two. First page, section two. Um, no, you, what you'll want to do is you want to update that. So you can highlight the. Yeah, so if you go back up to, to section, you highlight that guy. And then if you go into um, format page or page number, then you're going to get the format page number. And then instead of starting to share, you can start. Okay, Nothing on the cover page, correct? Yeah. Rock on, man. Rock on. Yeah, cool. All right. Does everybody have that? Do you may not have this? Everybody has this? And I can't tell. Kaylee, you good? Thanks, Mohammed. I'm having an issue. I was just saying, I was just trying to tell her. I just wanted to hear it. I clicked. I should have said, I clicked, but it was a different page. Okay, so make sure. So let's go into document. So you can see, go into home. You guys are not able to, if you're not able to, if you change a number, you're not able to make them two different things, what probably happened? You might have left out a what? So how do we create like two different, how do we create a, a different header and footer in one place and the other place? A what? A section break. Good. So everybody here, Matthew, a section break. So if you're doing this and you can't change it, you can't have like one different one at the top. A different one on starting on, on the executive summary page, make sure, go in and check and make sure you have a section break in there. Because you can't change it across page breaks, you can only change that across section breaks. Okay? Cool. You have to put like one page, Romans in the button. Exactly. So you couldn't, so if you didn't have a section break, you couldn't have this like small Roman numerals and this in one page. Okay? That's only possible through section breaks. Only possible section break. All right. So let's start doing some magic now. Let's start doing some magic. So let's go into, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So the next thing we want to do is go into our table of contents. I didn't mean to freeze you guys. Yep. Yep. So I'm going to show you guys, and then you guys are going to do this. So in table of contents, where will we enter a table of contents from? What do you guys think? Table of contents, where can we do that from? References. References, good. Matthew's all over it. Okay. 
Okay, so you go into references and talk me through this, Matthew. Uh, yeah, so we, we're in references. Now where do we go? Okay, table of contents. And I usually recommend doing custom table of contents. So we're going to do custom table of contents and just leave it all the defaults. And when we do this, look at this, Blamo. Pretty cool. But now here's the only problem. Here's the only gotcha. You guys, this document isn't complete. We have to add some more headers and footers. So if we do that, this, this isn't going to update and reflect the current document. So how do we update it? Does anybody know? Okay, uh, if you click on it, left click or right click? Uh, left click. What about right click? Let's right click. Let's right click and see what happens. If we right click, then we're gonna see this update field and you can either update the page numbers or update the entire table. Since you're putting in new headers in there, you're gonna to wanna to update the entire table. If you have everything in there, you just type some text and some pages rolled around, you can just do update page numbers, but I'm, it's, safe, it's, safer than, it's, it's safer to do the update entire table. So if you do that, it'll add all the headers and it'll all go into there, okay? Cool, so let's go under, let's go under table figures. How do we do that one? Whoa, look at Holly. Okay, so walk me through that. Uh, under captions. Okay, so references and in the captions group. You click on insert table. Figures. Insert table of figures, okay. Now notice that this has figures in here. Okay, so defaulted to caption label of figures. What about if we wanted to put a table of tables in here? How do we do that? Wow, Holly, you ate your smart pills today. <laughs> okay, so caption label, and you just do table, and then that puts in a table of tables. Okay, so we wanted to do a table of figures, and we put that in there, and blammo, there you go. Okay, so you have to put in another figure for um, Amazon, or for Apple, that's part of your homework. And then you're going to do, so you'll update all these, and you'll also do the table tables. That'll be part of your homework. All right. Cool. So why don't we do that? I'll let you guys do that. So go in and create a table of contents using custom table of contents. And then do the table of figures. And then you guys will do the rest of the assignment. So then you so then what's gonna be your capstone homework then? You have to do what? Okay, so on, on your capstone homework, you're just essentially gonna go through this. We probably did about two thirds of this. But all you have all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go through and look at anything that says homework on there. It's much more obvious on a soft copy. Okay, it's much more obvious on the soft copy because you'll see it, the homework's all in red. Uh-oh, is Holly, is Holly getting off the beaten path? Okay, and then at the end, at the end, how, how do you know if your homework's right? How do you know if this is right? It looks exactly the same as the other It looks exactly the same as the key, although this is in PDF, so you guys can't copy-paste it, right? That would be no fun. <laughs> so, I had to make it into PDF. So it should look like this, okay? So it doesn't look like this, then you might have did something incorrect. Okay, but at least you have the answer, right? So I gave you guys the answer. So, cool. All right, so how's everybody doing on getting the table of contents and the table of figures? Okay, so you guys are doing table of contents and table of figures. Okay, so perfect. Uh, but you put the table of contents above the table of contents. So see how the table of contents, your table of contents above. So I just, I just um, I would probably just yeah. So I would probably remove that. So just copy those guys. Delete. Uh, I just delete. Just delete. Uh, there. 
Uh, but you didn't do the custom one on the direction. Okay. So do you have a little custom? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but now you <coughs> don't do that. Okay. Do it. So do it. No, no, do it. There. Okay, now do it. And keep pushing it. That's fine. It'll work this one. Okay. All right. Started off. All right, so this is so you have to try. Why is this so Because we want to prove it one by one, and it's all right. Because we point one, point two, and then that is one. So how's everybody doing? Good? All right, cool. All right, so anybody not any, anybody not here, everybody's got this? All right, cool. So what we're going to do now is um, you save this if you guys want to, and you can load this up along with the yoga document. So I now want to shift gears and get into that yoga document, and then go over some indexes. Yeah, so, so here's what I want you guys to do is go into... I'm sorry. Yeah, so you guys are done now. So we just finished. Um, we just finished step number forty. So, so yeah, you guys are have to go back through and 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 complete all the homework ones. But again, we probably did about two thirds of this already. Okay, but make sure you know how to do that. So Tuesday's exam, it's going to be two parts, SimNet. Okay, so it's going to look a lot like the assessment and a practical. A practical is going to look a lot like this. Okay, so I'm just if you if a person doesn't do the capstone, they won't do well on the on the test. Usually, it's about eighty percent or less. So I want everybody to do well. Everybody do well. Okay, so let's shift gears. Let's go into this yoga document. So save this, and then uh, you're going to go into Blackboard. And we're going to go into module two word. Then we're going to go into word three. And then we're going to go into in class stuff. And we're going to open up yoga. I'm sorry? Yeah, in class stuff. You're going to go to in class stuff. Okay. And we're going to enable editing. I'm going to put this on page width just so you guys can see it. Okay. Let's see, does everybody have up yoga getting there? Yep. Nice seeing you. I like seeing you in class. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. You got it, Caitlin. Get in there. Uh oh, okay. All right, so what I want to do is create a couple. Um, let's do heading, do a header one on what is yoga. So do a heading one here. This is just a default. And let's say history of yoga, make that a, a table, heading two. 
and benefits of table two. Is it a heading two? Heading two, yeah. So what is yoga heading one and history of yoga? History of yoga and benefits. Okay. And then let's go in and do this as a multi-level document too. So if you go into paragraph, into the multi-level listing and do this one right here, this third third column, second row. How about tires? I'm sorry, Mark? What about types? Um, don't worry about that. I mean, if you want to do types, you can do types. If you want to make that a heading three, you, well, actually, there is no heading three in this one. So you went where? Yeah. All right. So so go in. So to make this into like a multi-level listing where you get the numbers, what you do is if you go into Home tab, Paragraph Group, and a multi-level control. Oh, I'm sorry, multi-level control. This, Third one over here. And you're gonna go into list library, it's gonna be the third column, second row. And you're gonna see like the heading one, two, three, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, perfect. There you go. Oh, okay. Cool. I have this first. Yep. Well, there we have it. We're gonna make a and um, so what you're going to do now is you're going to go into uh, paragraph group and then the multi-level so uh, uh, right? one. There you go. Put that down one. Okay, good. And then that third column, second row. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Good. And um, because you you have that, yeah, I'm just going to use it. So it looks like that's the heading. So now you can put that on there. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm going to lock you guys up here a second just so we can kind of look at themes. So themes are okay. I, the book gets wrapped up in themes. I'm not necessarily a themes guy because you can do like all your work. You can do all your work in something like a document like this like what Carlos is doing and Illy is doing, and apply a theme, and it's like a train wreck. It could, train, it could change everything on you, okay? So I love styles. Styles are great to do the headings. Themes can make everything you did on styles all wonky, okay? So my recommendation is if you want to do a theme, do the theme first, then apply styles. If you apply themes after styles, it's like you don't know what you're going to get, okay? So where would we apply themes from? Anybody remember? Design, good. So if we go into design, then we can get onto our different themes and there's all kind of like defaults for these funky memes like faucet and integral and slice and van. And if you go and if you go through here, you can kind of see what's changing. You can see like all this stuff is changing. So can, let me see. Let me go down a little bit now. Let me go here so you, you can see the numbers. All right, so it's, it's behaving okay with the numbers. So, but you can do this, and then once you have that, then you can do what? If you didn't like this color palette, you could do, you can go into colors and you can change your color palette. So let's say you wanted to do like purples or something like that, violets or reds or red oranges. Uh, or grayscale or something like that. And let's say you wanted to do like um, orange. I don't know, let me say marquee. Marquee, so you did marquee and you love this. You wanna use this forever and ever. You're like, oh my gosh, I have this perfect thing and I wanna use this for every paper from here on out for the rest of my life. What can you do? So if you have this and you have this color combination, like, oh man, I love this color combination from here out. I always want to apply this theme. Okay, save current theme, right? So where do we do that at? So if we go back into themes, then we go down to the bottom and save current theme. Okay, so you just call this like, you know, Rick's theme, Rick theme. Okay, then save. And then now you can apply that later on. So if you go into themes, 
Um, you could browse for themes or up here in custom, you see where it says Rick theme? You could just apply that. But if you go to different computers, you'll have to like change, you'll have to update that theme. So if you're on the same machine all the time, then you can do that. Okay, so why don't you guys apply some themes? So do play around with the themes a little bit. So you have your headings and then go apply a theme and go you know, figure out some theme style and change the color and then go save the theme style. Do you want us to change the formatting? Um, no, you don't have to change the formatting. And if you want to change it, you can. Yeah, if you want to change something, you can just play around. I just want you guys to get exposure just to play around. I, I'm not much of a theme person. I'm just a. Uh, the content, if it's content, if you have the content there and it's laid out, people don't necessarily care about the fancy, cool colors and things. But at least in the defense industry, there's no time for fancy. <laughs> All right, cool. So how's everybody doing with that? Everybody's doing well? All right, cool. All right, so the next thing I want to do is have us play with videos. So I want us to play with videos. So let me, let's have a discussion about videos. You guys are locked up, by the way. All right, so. Yeah, I think I'm the only one that's locked up. Oh. That happened, okay. Now, now we have everybody locked up. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so. And so we've already did, does anybody have any questions on how to insert a figure into something? <laughs> They're already pretty com confident or comfortable with that. Okay, so we kind of did the apple and everything else, and, and you guys will do that for your, where we did it, that for the capstone. So instead of doing a figure for a yoga pose, let's say C, um, figure one below for a yoga pose, but, but let's say C, we'll, we'll say the, uh, figure one, but let's actually put a video in here. Okay, let's insert a video in here. So how can we insert a video? Okay, so home insert. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, we don't have online video. Oh. What? There's a way to do this? What? Wait, tell me again. What? What? Whoa, wait. Mohammed, tell us what's going on here. You know how to do this? File? Oh my gosh, look at this. We're going to get a file? Cool. Compatibility mode? So we might have to save this. This is going to be a read only document. So the first thing we're going to have to do is, is save as. And then we're just going to put this on our desktop. Okay, so we're going to put this on our desktop. Okay. And then once you do that, your document will be upgraded to the newest file format. Okay, so once we do that, guess what happens? Okay, so now if we go into inserts, oh my gosh, <laughs> online video. <laughs> well, if you, once you save as, because this was saved in an older version, it's auto, gonna automatically do that. If it didn't, <laughs> so it should do that. If it doesn't do that, <laughs> If it doesn't, thank you. If it doesn't do that, if you go into file and change compatibility mode, then that'll change it for you. Okay. So you have to be in 2013 or, or 2016 to get to the videos. Okay. So once we have this, now we can do what? Now we can search for videos. Okay. So we can use Bing, blah, or we could use YouTube, or um, let's say we have something from somewhere like Vimeo or something like that. You could click the embed code into there. Okay, so does anybody know what I'm talking about, embed code? So if we go into YouTube here, even though you can get to YouTube directly, let's say we're looking for yoga. Okay, yoga to calm your nerves. 
Well, this looks like a good movie. I saw Sully the other day, and this looks like a pretty good movie. But it looks pretty creepy, but yeah. You, you'll probably lock your doors. At, I, I suspect you're going to lock your doors after watching them. All right, so then how do we get the embed code? Does anybody know where we get that at? Uh, so if you go into settings, let's see, more. Let's see. No, it should be in settings. So we go into settings. Share, thank you. All right, share. Okay, share. But that's not embed. So if we go into share and then we go to embed, and then we grab this, and this is going to be an iframe. So we grab that and come into here. And then in here, we could put your embed code. This is already set up for Bing and YouTube, but if you went to someone else like Vimeo or some other place that has a video, you have to use um, from a video embed code and put that in there. So you just have to share, embed, copy, Well, I mean, you don't have to do, I mean, you don't have to, that was, that was an example if you use something like Vimeo. If you're, if you're just using YouTube, you can just type in yoga from there. So you don't have to do this if you're doing it from YouTube. You can just search YouTube from here. So we did like yoga poses here, yoga poses, and search. Then this is going to pull up the same thing. And, and so it's already set up for this. And say yoga for be beginners or top ten poses and insert. It'll automatically do that for you. Okay. And if this is too big, we could do what? Resize it. So grab the corner, shift. And we want to center this maybe. Okay, so we'll go in and center this. And let's say here's our cursor right here. And we might want to do what? There you go, Carlos. I love the way you're thinking. Okay, so we can insert a caption. If we did say figure one, just say yoga poses or something like that. Yoga poses. Okay, let me click on here. But you know, maybe we want to do centering on this guy, but we don't want to center it every time we do this, so we're going to do what instead? We can go down in a caption and modify our caption and do that once. Because if we don't do it, then every time, like, gosh, this is the fourth picture I did. I'm doing the same thing. A lot of rinse repeat. Always work smart. Okay, so once you set that, it's all there. Okay? Now we do this, we can even come up here and do a what now? Cross-reference. Cross okay, so references, cross-reference, and we'll say that we want to do figures, and we want to just do the label and number. You put it there. Label number. Okay, so you guys do that. So pick out any yoga pose you want, whatever you feel. Yeah, you can say that. See below for a yoga video or something like that. Sure. Okay, so you're going to go down in there and you're going to do insert. The first thing you do is change your file save as. And once you do that, then that's going to modify your document into 2013 format. And then it will enable the Ability for you to um, insert online videos. Okay, resize it. Very scoot it along, just blasting away. Does it matter what size we have the uh, video? No, I don't care. Just, just resize it to something, whatever. Cool, good. All right, looks like everybody's doing well. Roasting the caption in. 
Chandler is good. Jay's almost done. Mark's getting fancy and doing some rap text. I love it. He changed his styles. He's got some cool headers on there. I like it more. Fancy done. Okay, Diego's looking good. Oh, so okay, so once you get in there, so once you have your caption, you're gonna do what? If you want to modify that style, you're going to home, home styles, home styles, and then if you don't see, if you go to home styles and you don't see what you want, then if you click down this little arrow with the with the the line, a little carrot down, that gives you more. You can either click this arrow to go more, or you can just click this one to see everything, and then you just go into caption, and then you're gonna right click, caption, then modify. And then you can see the centering that way that prevents you from having to every time you put a figure in there, it's like, wow, I have to keep recentering this. Okay, we're always trying to work smart and not hard in here. Always, always, always being efficient. Okay, how's everybody doing? Got a key? You good? Mommy? Matthew? Perfect, you're ready. Yeah. <coughs> Diego, you good? Perfect. All right, Jay, looks good. Everybody looks good. All right, so I think everybody's here. Good, awesome. Nicely done, class. Nicely done. All right, so let's talk about, so I'm going to lock you guys up here, and let's talk about endnotes and footnotes. What are endnotes and footnotes? Endnotes and footnotes. Yeah, like a reference to a sentence. Okay, good. Okay, and then what's the difference between a footnote versus an end note? Footnotes, the footnotes at the bottom of the page, whichever page you set it up is going to go to the bottom of the page versus an end note. Okay, so that's a footnote, and it's going to be at the bottom of the page. What about an end note? It's going to be on the final page of the document. Final page, okay? So footnote down at the bottom. The footer of the page and note at the end of the document. So we typically will do footnotes just because you can, it's more convenient there instead of like, we've got this 100 page document, here it is, we're gonna go 100 pages and come back now. So we normally will use footnotes. Okay, so in here um, it says, hey, here's an extension of the new age in nearly every city in the US. And um, last semester when I looked at this, I think there are over 200 yoga studios in the San Diego area, but I suspect there's probably even more than that. So probably even almost in North County, we've got that just in probably Acadia. All right, so where are we gonna put a footnote? How are we gonna do that? References, and then we see insert footnote. You can see that's even that much bigger than an endnote, right? So it's almost like, yeah, okay. We'll do that, and then here we'll say there are over 200 yoga studios in San Diego, we'll say in North County area, okay? And then notice that when I did this insert footnotes, guess what else turned on? This show notes automatically turned on. If you turn this off, that's going to go or let's see, show notes. Well, if it's not showing up, it should show up. That was like a legacy thing in 2010, maybe carried over. Um, if it doesn't show up, just click the, the show notes and it'll show up at the bottom. It used to be you could, you could toggle it. It looks like now you can only have it on, which makes sense, by the way. It's like if you're going to do it, just have it on. You would have a footnote, but not show it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, it was stupid the way they used to have it. So I, somebody finally got smart, like, why would you have this? Kind of like what you said, Jay, like, why would you put that in if you're not going to show it? So, yeah. All right. So let's have you guys try that out. Okay. So let's go in here, Yoga Studio. So right after the, in this first paragraph, what is yoga? So you'll notice that we have the little one right here. And if you hover over that, it'll even say there are over 200 yoga studios in North County area. So this is in what is yoga? Right above the picture. And then you're gonna type this down in here. 
So references, inserts, footnotes, and then you're going to type in, there are over 200 yoga studios in Orange County. All right, how's everybody doing? Good? Anybody stuck? Who's there? Yeah, it's automatically pulled it down there as well. Yeah. Okay, there's good. Okay. Good, good. All right, everybody's got it. All right, excellent. You guys are, I'm tight. I'll say this again. It's like, I, I keep telling the department chair, you my wife, she teaches the power. Like, I have the best class of 110 students I've had in five years. You guys are like awesome. I, it's just, I mean, I, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. All right. I'll agree with you. You try to what was your experiment? Oh, you did. It. Thought we could keep the Excel in thirty minutes, but people were just supposed to get. In well, because we had like we got a little bit behind, so yeah. So it was like, yeah. So, but there's the videos. So I don't feel too bad. We blasted through it, but there's videos. So, but but that was pretty intense Excel, though. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Yeah, that's it's. Yeah, I do like. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys how to do tables. So if we come down to like the bottom here, um, like right before at the bottom, before getting started, after through sweat, we want to enter a four row, two column table. Four column or three column. Four row. Let me do four row, two column, otherwise it won't show up to banding right. So, and what? We'll, yeah, we'll just do four columns. So let's do inserts, table, and we're gonna do four rows and two columns. Okay, so we put that in here. And then we're gonna put in um, name, show, and then we're gonna put in Daffy Duck, Looney Tunes. Okay, you're gonna put in Bart, Simpson, that's going to be Simpsons. And we're going to put in Mickey Mouse Disney. Okay. So if we do this, this looks okay, but we want to have some flair to it. So what can we do? Do you guys think? Not themes. Not themes. Styles, styles right? So th themes are okay, like styles. Okay. So if we come in here and do the more, there's some really cool things in here. And if you look at the like this middle row and the grid tables, we can see that we have this cool thing called, with the banding right here. Okay, so we have this cool banding in here. And then now we have it so that um, the banding will have like every other row will alternating like light, you know, we have dark blue at the top, then light blue, um, white, white blue, then white. So it makes it very easy for us to track this. Okay. We also make the names bold, or would you have it like that? Um, it did make the names bold too on the left hand column. So it did bold, so it does a, a bunch of things in there. Okay, but this looks, I mean this table now, it has a lot of excess room. So what can we do if we wanted to make it just the right amount of space? Anybody remember? What is it? Oh wait, no, we just drag it in. You could drag it in? Could you go to the center thing and then like where the double bars are, you can uh, click it twice and then I'll smallerize it to where it fits the... You can do all that, possibly. <laughs> Auto fed, what, Jay? What's that? <laughs> Whoa, Jay, what, what can we do? <laughs> so, how do we do that, Jay? You remember? Okay, so Jay says auto fed. Okay, so up here. Yeah, there you go, auto fed. So, so, what we do up here, see this little cross up here? This little cross uh, bars up here? If we right click, so. If we do that and put this over our table, we can right click this guy. And then we can come down and there's an auto fit feature right here. 
Then we can say auto fit to contents. Pretty cool, right? And now that we have our table selected, I don't know, do we want to have it on the left or what do we want to do maybe? Let's center it, right? So going to home, we can center it. Okay, cool. But you know what? I'm an order type of a guy. I want to see this thing alphabetized. Okay, so how can we do that? Okay, so we come into here and we go into, so we can go into design or we go into layout here. We can sort it, but check out the sort. Look at this sort. Okay, it's going to be by name or we could say by show. And then how does it know name or show? Because how do we know that it's, it's going to sort by name or show? Ah, look down here at the bottom. My list has, what's those two radio buttons on there? Header row. Okay, so it knows, that we, because if we, did, if we didn't do that, it would be what? Bart Simpson, Daffy Duck, Mickey Mouse, and the name all the way down at the bottom, right? Okay, so now when we do this, we sort ascending, we click on OK, it's going to keep name there, but it's going to alt, alter Bart, Daffy Duck, and Mickey Mouse. And when it does that comma, it does both all the rows at the same time. Pretty cool. <laughs> cool. All right, cool. All right, so let's have you guys do that then. Okay, so we're gonna hit stop here. All right, so so yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I got you. I got. I was tracking. I was tracking Holly. I I had you. I had you. All right, so if you go down to the towards the bottom, right above get getting started, it's right above getting started. Okay, so you're gonna do a four row, two column table. And then you're gonna put name and show and put this stuff in there. Yeah. I know. I'm trying to fix it up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Okay, no, wait a second. There you go. There you go. Yep. There you go. Yep. Yep. Sorry about that. Yep. The so name show: Daffy Duck, Looney Tunes, Bart Simpson, Simpsons, Mickey Mouse, Disney. Okay, so once you get that information entered, then if you go into Table Tools Design, apply a style so that you have a nice banded display. So the header row is one color, and you have alternating colors for your data. Okay, good. Okay, so you're going to do style. So once you get everything typed in, you're going to do style. Then you make your colors. And once you do that, we can auto fit. So if you right click up on those cross hash bars to get on auto fit, you say fit the contents, auto fit the contents to that. And then while you're there, you can center the table as well. And then you'll sort. Okay, that's good, Mark. Awesome. Okay, you got it, Jager? Good, that's got it. All right. I think everybody's got it. You may not have it. Looks like everybody's got it. Nicely done, guys. Very good. All right, awesome. All right. So let's quickly look at indexes, too. Let's quickly look at indexes. So, let me. Zap your machines here. All right, so how would we set, so if we want to do like 
indexes, and if we want to do it on the types of yoga, how would we do that? Okay, so we're going to do what, Matthew? So we're going to go into references, and then we do what? We mark the entries, okay? So here we could say something like yoga types. Yoga type, or we'll just say yoga. We'll just say type right here. Type, types. Okay, so we want to have this as the main entry types, and we'll do like three of them. We'll do like Ananda, Hatha, and Ashtanga. And then once we get three, I'll assume you guys know how to do the rest. Okay, so on this one, we do what? We'd mark this guy. Um, yeah, you could do that one as bold if you wanted to. Do that as bold, okay? And then notice that we have the XE. This is like all the code gobbledygook that's in there with the show formatting, okay? And then what happens if we wanted to put Ananda underneath types? How would we do that? So we put it here, and then we do what? So we're going to click here, okay? And we're going to put types. So we have to do our main entry of types. And then Ananda, Ananda, and then let's say we don't want to have that one as bold. Maybe we'll do that one as italic. We'll mark this, okay? And then we'll do the same thing for Hatha. Now this is kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know why they don't do the just maintain it there. Yeah, the textbook made it seem like it was like keep your main entry as you use. Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> now, I wish I would. I do apologize to you guys. I post apologize to you guys because that section probably took a while. If, if it were me creating a book, I would have had you guys probably do about one quarter of what they did. I mean, I'm just. Once you do one or two, you guys have it down. You don't have to do like 100 plus. <laughs> yeah, somebody needs to let McGraw hell know. <laughs> I'll get on that. <laughs> Holly said, one of my students, Holly says. Okay, we'll do types again and then um, Ashtanga. Okay, we'll mark this. And then once we're, we're just going to do, I'm not going to have you guys do everything in here. We'll close. And now, what? let's say down here at the bottom, we wanted to put an index down here. So let's even say we're going to put this on what? Maybe a new page so we didn't start a page break. Okay, now what can we do? How can we put it in there? References. And we insert index. So this, the default is to come up as two columns. I just like one column. Yeah, one column. Unless you've got a, a ton of them and you're making a book. And you say, okay, and then there they all are. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. Okay. So why don't you guys do that now? Okay, so you're gonna do, so you're gonna come up in here. And then you're gonna make this types types. And then you're gonna make Ananda, Hatha, and Ashtanga sub entries of that. Yeah, this one's kind of hard. So people, I was pretty lenient on this one. If people on the homework, if people just made an effort, I'm like, yeah, that's good. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now, as long as you guys had an effort, as long as you guys made some effort to do it, it's like, yeah. It's I just didn't want to go in the same order. No, really? Yeah, I don't know why. Like, I did everything through the book. Like, I went through it. Like, it took me a few hours to do it. Oh, did it? Because when it came up and it didn't look like it, the picture in the book, I was like, oh my god. I yeah, I usually mean, don't. I mean, I don't create the, the things that. I mean, if I see like big obvious things, then I might take off a point or two. I, I just yeah. this is more so that we can. More last semester, I had a class that didn't necessarily. I don't know. They just didn't like to do homework. So, so like maybe like five people did homework and the other like 
15 didn't. Wow. So I was literally, I was like, I don't understand. It's like, I've never had a class that didn't do the homework. So could you imagine if you guys didn't do the warm-up and came in here and tried to do this stuff? Yeah, it would be like lost. It would take forever. I'd be like, oh, guys, please try to do your homework. Please, please. So that's – oh, yeah, no, yeah. So it was just like, yeah, so you guys are like, you guys are like all over it. Know what I'm saying. I love you guys. You best never – Chandler. Yeah, you just put it down at the bottom. So in terms of page, yeah. So everybody hear Chandler's question. So just put it down at the um, insert a page break down towards the end of the document. You just start on that last page. So it should look something a little bit like this. You'll see that we have the the main one bolded for types, and then all the other ones like the sub ones we did in italics. Um, you can do that, but, but yeah, you did yours with um, two columns, that's the default, but yeah, we're going to do it two or one. So, yeah, no worries. Yeah, if you wanted to just sort of go with the other last one. Oh, I did all. Yeah, you just said okay. You can. Makes it safe. Love it. Cool. All right, nice. All right, so does anybody have any questions? Anybody suck? How's everybody doing? Yep, Charles. Okay, so I do it the next page. Is this one of them here or? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So you're here. You turn it break. Okay. So I think you're on your Ananda, it looks like you, what is it? The Ananda, you had like some, something in one there, but I, yeah, okay. I'm not too late because I, I know I was, yeah, I missed something up wrong. Okay, you got a mark? I didn't have a figure one in there? Yeah. yeah, so if you go into, um, that's like, so highlight figure one. Okay, and then if you go into references and do the cross reference. Okay, and then you're going to do on the left hand side, you're going to do it for figures. You have to do that, and you're going to scroll down here. Okay, and then now you're just going to do that entire capital number. That's like in the middle of everything. There you go. Cool. All right. So that's all we have today. That's all we have today. So we have like four minutes. So um, save those guys, especially save the capstone one. So you want to, you're going to want to save that and come to that later on. Okay. So go into, uh, go into Blackboard, and then this is going to be Word three. So module two, Word three, and do Word three day two. And browse your computer and try to get both those documents. So save both of them. At least get the capstone in there so you guys can get that later. Because that's going to be your homework, right? I don't want day, day one in class or day two? Day two in class. Day two in class. So word three, day two. And then you're going to put your latest capstone in there. And then you can put this document too. I'm, I less care about this document. I more care about the capstone. Because once it's in here, you can pull it down to start that to do your capstone homework. So I'm, I'm, Renee blaze ahead, so did Carlos. I think Jay's done too, so there's like three or four people blaze ahead. Okay. I'm sorry? Yeah, at least the capstone and then you, it, I would like to see both, but at least to get the capstone in there. So I want to make sure you guys can yeah, get access back to that so you can do it for your homework, right? So it'll make your homework much easier for you. Wait. Homework up the caption? Oh, because we're uploading the caption that we just done earlier. The capstone, yeah, the capstone. The cap so the, what you what we did at the beginning part of class, yeah. that's essentially the capstone homework problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but you guys still have to go back and do some more work on that. But then once you're done with that, then you're going to load that up into the um, module two. 
So if you guys go into module two word, you're gonna see the capstone thing right here. And then here's where you're gonna, once you're finished with the capstone, you're gonna load that up right there. That's not due until Sunday. Yeah, that's not due until Sunday. Sunday at eight. Yep, Sunday at eight. Okay, so um, homework, word three, assessment, and extra credit. There's a fair amount of people that are taking taking advantage of the extra credit. I'm telling you, if you guys do that extra credit, it makes everything flow really nicely. So if you have the time, I would do the extra credit, you get all the help, and you'll blast through the assessment. So you get two points of extra credit and do that. You have the capstone due, and then how do you know what's going to be on the test? Study guide. study guide, right? So if you go to module two, if you go into study guide, let's take a look at this really quick. Okay, so let's see what you guys have going on here. So view makes this nice and big. All right, how to download a zip file extract on zip. How to use format markings, different ways to use spelling and grammar correction tools. Formatting pictures, how to use a thesaurus, the watermarks, tab list, left versus center versus right tab stops. So uh, margins, custom margins, tables, how to create, sort, apply styles. We did all that today. Um, how would we insert or delete rows? Chandler. Um, I was, uh, okay. Um, I was wondering what type of layout our test is going to be. So our test is going to be SimNet. Okay. Plus a practical. Like last time? Um, yeah, like last, well the practical is gonna probably look a lot like this. Okay. So that's why I say do the capstone guide, that will help you out a bunch. Obviously it can't be this big, but but I can, I can, I can, yeah, I'll have instructions, okay. yeah. Yep, so I have instructions. Okay, caption styles, how to, how to do the caption styles and headers, how to set cross-references, citations, Difference between page break and section breaks, headers, footers. So I think we've covered all that. Um, so the segment uh, part of our test will look similar to the word three assessment. Well, it'll look similar to one, two, and three assessments. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the practical will be you said a set of instructions that we have to follow. Mm -hmm. in, yeah. In word, probably. in word, exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So no scantron, no, nothing else. So you'll do, you know, this will, the SimNet portion will be a combination of stuff in Word 1 and Word 2 and Word 3. And then you'll do the practical, and that'll look, like I said, a lot like the, the capstone. So if you could do the capstone and feel comfortable with that, or like a tab stop, just because that's kind of like, eh, you yeah, know, that was kind of hard. So I'd, I would take a look at, I'm sorry? Yeah, that was the thing that, that the tab stops, we said it. And go over and we line them up. It was like the recreation club and it had like the different times and the, the classes. So, yeah. All right, sounds good. So, if you guys have any questions, I'll be around this weekend. So, just email me. Otherwise, see you guys on Tuesday. And, and if you have anything missing, try to get those in. Have a good weekend, guys. Go Bolts. Ciao.